Surely, we want to listen carefully for Jehovah's voice behind us, helping us to make the right decisions. Try to schedule Bible reading as part of your daily routine. As a suggestion, you can use the schedule for Bible reading that's found on jw.org. To find it, type Schedule for Bible Reading in the search field at the top right. If you read just three to five chapters every day, you can complete the entire Bible in just one year. But simply reading God's Word is not enough. You need to meditate on what you're reading. Well, how can you meditate on God's Word? Well, after reading a portion of the Bible or one of our publications, take a few moments to think deeply about what you have read. Ask yourself, what do I learn about Jehovah when I read this account? How does this account make me feel about Jehovah? How can I apply this in my life? Or how can I use this to help others? I really don't miss having to sit through this sort of material as a Jehovah's Witness. We're watching John Ekron giving the baptism talk at the end of the Saturday morning of the 2021 Powerful by Faith Convention. He's interviewed some Bethelites and heard their experiences about crushing doubts and spurning higher education. And now he's reminding Jehovah's Witnesses of the need to not just read the Bible and not just read the Bible every day, but read the Bible and meditate. But simply reading God's Word is not enough. You need to meditate on what you're reading. It's not enough to just read the Bible your own way and draw your own conclusions based on what you're reading and maybe skim through the parts that are less interesting because let's face it, I mean, the genealogies. <laughs> What's to meditate about essentially a list of names? You may as well be reading the phone directory. It's so tedious, some of it. The directions for building the tabernacle. Oh yeah, so much to meditate about there. So engrossing. <laughs> this is the sort of stuff that would seriously really make me hate myself as a Jehovah's Witness because you're watching this material, you're watching this counsel from the platform knowing you fall short because truthfully, whenever I would try to systematically read the Bible, what would happen is I would find interesting parts that I did genuinely find interesting and which genuinely prompted questions, but then you would run into, again, these long genealogies, or these parts of the Bible that were intensely boring, you'd be reading it, you'd be really trying to read it, but your brain would just be doing <laughs> something else entirely. And after a while, you'd realize that though you have been technically reading it, it's completely passed you by because your brain's doing one or two other things that it thinks is more interesting. But this is unacceptable if you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses because you have to view the Bible as God's inspired word and all of it is relevant. All of it must be interesting. If you're not finding something interesting in even the most boring parts, there's something wrong with you. What you need to do is meditate and when Jehovah's Witnesses use the word meditate, it's not the same meaning as you commonly think of when you say meditate. It's nothing to do with, you know, breathing exercises or mindfulness or anything like that. It's literally just obsessing over the details and just concentrating as much as humanly possible on what could be a completely insignificant detail and trying to force something interesting and something relevant out of it, even though there might not be anything. That's what you have to do. As John Ekron said, it's not enough to simply read the Bible. You have to do this whole meditation thing. And frankly, it's one thing that I really don't miss about being one of Jehovah's Witnesses, reading a book that isn't interesting and being put in a position where you have to make it interesting 
or there's something wrong with you. 